I am going on a little beach trip with my family and I'm bringing Cinnabon along. Today's video is gonna be all about how I pack and prep to bring Cinnabon on the road. Hello buns, welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things funny. And today's episode is super fun because it's actually a two part episode. I am going on a little beach trip with my family and I'm bringing Cinnabon along. Now I've done vlogs about travel before and I've brought y'all along for it, but I've never really done a full how to travel with your rabbit on a road trip video. So now it is time. Today's video is going to be all about how I pack and prep to bring Cinnabon on the road. And then next Sunday's video is going to be all about what I do in the car and what I do once I get there. Traveling with rabbits can be very stressful. I usually try to keep Cinnabon at home, but in this instance, I don't have a pet sitter lined up and it's easier for me to bring her along than leave her behind. But traveling can be very stressful for rabbits. They really don't like to break their routine and they don't like to leave their space and they typically don't love the car. So I'm going to show you what I do to make it as seamless as possible and as safe for them as possible. Remember, every rabbit is different. Just because Cinnabon does okay with travel does not mean that your rabbit does. So maybe try watching my other videos where I talk about taking Cinnabon in the car so you can build your rabbit's endurance up to longer car rides. I'll link those videos below. But enough babbling for me. Let's get into this video. Okay, hello, welcome to the floor. We are going to be packing Cinnabon's suitcase together. And I say suitcase, I really mean it. When I travel with Cinnabon, a big thing for me is I like to bring as much of her stuff that I can that's not ridiculous, just because it'll make her feel more at home in a new space. But the first thing I would recommend bringing is bunny proofing stuff. So the only bunny proofing thing that I'm gonna be bringing is a baby gate, and I actually don't have that with me, so give me one second. So this baby gate I'm gonna be bringing because my mom is bringing her dog, my sister's bringing her dog, and I want Cinnabon in one room nice and safe. I keep the door closed, but you can never be too certain, especially with other animals. So I bring this gate here to just put up so I know that she will always be safe. It is tall, it's metal, she can't go through it. This is my go-to gate that I travel with. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now time to actually pack up Cinnabon's suitcase. This video is all about road tripping with a rabbit. So what's nice about that is you have the luxury of space in your car. And I definitely recommend taking advantage of that. So let's start with the most important things like her litter box. I have this awesome portable litter box that it opens up. It's great. I'm bringing this. It is the perfect size for her and it fits nicely in her suitcase. On top of that, I have some pee pads. Since I'm traveling, I'm not gonna bring any paper bedding. It just, it's more stuff to travel with. It makes a bigger mess, so just pee pads for now. And then hay. Big recommendation for me with hay is I like to buy, Oxbow has these small containers, it's 15 ounces. This is the perfect travel size so that you don't have to travel with a giant bag of hay. So that covers her litter box. Now let's talk about her food. I always like to just have like a jar of her pellets that I bring, and I always bring more servings than I think I'm gonna need because you never know if something happens, you wanna make sure you have enough food. I put her digestive biscuits in here as well. And I also pack some forage because sometimes when we travel, Cinnabon just eats less. So I like to sprinkle extra forage on her hay to really encourage more eating so that she doesn't get sick or anything happens just to make sure she's eating enough. Plus I love using forage as a treat. But speaking of treats, especially on trips, I like to really reward Cinnabon. So I'm gonna bring a bag of treats. I got these sent to me from Oxbow. They're just banana and apple treats. And of course, I'm bringing stick because this is the most important part of Cinnabon's routine. If you guys have been following us, you know, she gets a half of these every single night, we have to bring. I'm also packing this water bowl for her because I know that this bowl is heavy. She can't flip it. So regular bowls that we have at the beach house, she might just flip and make a mess. So this is her water bowl. And then I'm bringing palm leaf bowls as a chew toy for her. And lastly, in the food department, I'm actually gonna bring her snuffle mat. One, because I love this snuffle mat, but two, because it smells like her. It's something familiar. Fabric really holds onto scent. So it'll encourage her to eat more and it's something familiar for her to have and know that there's some part of the space that's familiar. And now for the very important stuff that I think is an absolute must when traveling, her medicine and critical care. Now these medicines, these are only things that I use in case of emergency. She's not on any like daily medication, but if I travel with her, there's just more of a chance of her getting stressed out. You never know what could happen. And I don't wanna be in a position where she gets sick and I can't take care of her. So these are medications that I've used in the past with her. If you have anything that your vet has given you or anything 
anything specific that you know works for your bunny, I would bring that. If you don't have any medications that you've used before, I would at least recommend getting infant gas drops because in case of stasis or an emergency, this is a great thing that you can use right off the bat just to help relieve any gas and you can just buy this at a drugstore. And lastly is critical care. This is also super important. This is a feeding supplement. You mix it with water and you can feed it to your rabbit if they're not eating. Now, before I pack this away, we're actually gonna prepare a little bit of this that we're gonna bring on our road trip. And you'll see more about that in part two, but I actually like to travel with some pre-made. So we're gonna make that and then we can put the rest into our suitcase. So let's go make this. We'll pack up the suitcase. We'll be good. Good morning, it's about 7.45 a.m. and I just fed Cinnabon. One of my biggest tips for traveling with a rabbit is to make sure that they eat before you get in the car. When they go in a car, typically rabbits don't really like to eat and when they get to their new place, it might be a minute before they feel settled and can eat. So I always make sure that Cinnabon has a full belly before getting in the car because no matter what, that means I know that she's eaten today, I know that there are like things in her tummy and I also know that she's feeling well enough to travel. So I gave Cinnabon her salad and her pellets. She has eaten everything, there she is, she has no idea idea what's coming. I'm gonna show you the carrier really quickly and how I set it up. So here is little Mrs. Carrier. I actually don't know where it's from. I got it as a Christmas gift, so I'll try to figure it out and link it below, but it's a great, great carrier. It's so pretty, so sleek. And a lot of times in the car, I actually unzip this so that she can kind of poke her head out. But if you have an exploratory bunny, I might keep it closed, but let me show you what's inside. So inside I have a pee pad, I have a little palm leaf bowl. She probably won't mess with this, but every once in a while she'll get a little chewy and then some hay as well. Again, I don't have too much cause she's not gonna eat that much in the car. She has in the past eaten a little bit. So that's usually how I set it up. I try to keep a lot of space for her, but it's pretty simple. So getting Cinnabon and putting her in the carrier is the very last thing I do before I get in the car, packed and ready to go before I grab her. So what I'm gonna do is grab some lettuce out of the fridge for her and grab her critical care, grab all of our stuff and load up the car. And then once every Everything is ready. That's when we'll put Cinnabon in her carrier and we'll make our way out. Okay, buns, that's where I'm gonna stop this video for now. Now make sure that you are subscribed so that next Sunday you can watch part two of this video where we actually get in the car, take Cinnabon to the beach, and settle her in for our vacation. And if you don't wanna wait all the way until next Sunday for a video, on Wednesday of this week, I'm actually going to have the vlog of my experience on the trip and just like what we get up to at the beach vlogged there. So we'll have my little beach trip vlog on Wednesday, but then the actual Cinnabon content the how to travel with your rabbit video coming out next Sunday. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's helpful and we will see you in our next one. Bye buns.